Hey, author Adam Bray here. I'm at the Sturgeon River in Wolverine, Michigan, and I'm about to climb in an inner tube and hop in that river all alone and uh, go on to the next stop. It should be um, maybe two, two and a half, three hours. I sure hope it's not more than that. Um, I have never done this section before, um, and I'm doing it alone. I don't know anybody that's done this section, but I'm told it's possible. I did do a section before that was about as long, that's closer, closer to my house. Um, and it was all right, but by the end I was getting kind of tired of it and I wanted it to stop. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I'm not real crazy about doing this, especially by myself, hopping in a cold river with beavers and fish and turtles and things and doing it by myself and doing it late in the day. And um, I just hope my car's there on the other end when I get out. So um, let's get this started. <sighs> Wish you were here. Now, the stretch of river I'm on, on uh, the Sturgeon River, um, runs for, I guess it runs from um, north of Gaylord, Michigan, uh, then goes up north through uh, Wolverine. Um, I guess it goes, it must go near Vanderbilt, then uh, Wolverine and uh, then Indian River um, up to the lakes there and connects with all the inland waterway stuff. Um, so you could you could transverse a good chunk of the northern Michigan on this river. Um, the section I'm on is from uh, Wolverine uh, to the Rondo Road Bridge, I believe. I have done an earlier, the section before that, um, from Trowbridge to Wolverine. Each section, I think, is about um, two hours-ish long. Um, I am doing this alone on just a basic uh, um, Walmart... Um, uh, inner tube um, and I bring an oar along um, just a cheap little oar for such things rafts and things um, it's great for controlling where I go a little bit um, but especially for pushing off because the thing is as you can see you just kind of spin around the whole way um, and you're slamming into lots of branches and things so it's great to have something to push off um, I do see a lot of birds um, I've seen a couple of turtles. Uh, I think I've seen in the, the previous trip I saw beaver. Um, don't really notice the fish, but I know there's a lot in here. Um, I don't think there's still sturgeon. I hope not, because they're big. I don't want to get bit on the ass. Um, I think there's like trout and stuff. Lots and lots of insects. Um, I suppose one wants to be careful about, uh, beaver fever or, uh, Giardia, um, so don't drink the water. Uh, it's not great that I'm doing this by myself, um, so I don't recommend you do that. You should go with somebody else. Um, and if uh, you know, you can do it in uh, canoes and kayaks and things. Um, I think it's more fun in a um, in a uh, in an inner tube like this, um, the prior stretch I did see flat inner tubes along the way. So you know you can pop them in uh, these trees and branches and things. Uh, so you have to be aware there's a danger that uh, you could um, get stuck along the way, and then you have to climb out of the river and through the swamp and the mire and the muck and walk out to the highway and then walk however many miles it is to your car unless you get a cell phone like I do then you can call for help but so there is a risk of um, but 
no good adventure there there are no good adventures unless they come with some misadventures. So yeah, just be aware of that. Um, there are some sensible rules depending on um, what kind of flotation thing you have. If you've got a canoe or, or um, kayak or something, but uh, like uh, life jackets and things, but they don't apply strangely if you're in an inner tube, just a basic inner tube with a hole in the bottom. Um, so yeah, you can uh, bring your lunch and something to drink. Um, you could do both, uh, both sections on the river, but I was kind of worn out just doing the two hours, so I think I'll be kind of tired when I'm done with this. I've been told by the professionals that after Rondo Road Bridge, um, you don't want to keep going uh, to the lake because it's very long and very rough. Um, but I met somebody along the way that said they'd done it, um, but it is out many hours more. Um, so I've been kind of curious if you could like do the whole way and out to the Great Lakes um, through the inland waterway, if that would be possible. Maybe that's um, sometime when I'm feeling real ballsy, maybe later this summer if I have nothing to do. Um, what I got to lose but my life. Um, and sometimes you hit rocks. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's a good way to spend the day. Beautiful day today, too. So, yeah, I recommend it. And behind me there is the Thirsty Sturgeon. That's probably one of the biggest uh, destination stops uh, along the way. Just a fancy, um, well not fancy, but just really fun uh, restaurant, bar, cafe. Uh, it's got it everything. Uh, nice, pretty log cabin-y, trade post sort of indoor setting. Um, and great outdoor with a nice green lawn on the river. Um, I've been in once or twice, uh, really enjoyed it. Um, I just have a hard time eating out um, now that I try to watch my weight after losing 200 pounds, but um, I do plan on going back and recommend it. Of course, the big question is, what do you do when you got to pee and you're on the river? You could take all the effort to um, get out, uh, which is a considerable effort if there isn't a dock or anything right there. Um, or you could, you could pee just where you sit. Um, you're already sort of in the water, halfway in the water, um, and get it all on you. Or you could be peeing right while you're making a video and nobody would know. So in hour two, um, my butt is cold and itchy. I've been banged in the tailbone by rocks a dozen times and snagged in the testicles by sticks one too many and still enjoying myself. Um, but um, those things wear on you after a while. Ah! No, some rapids too. So, into hour three now we're starting, and I am freezing my little man buns off. Um, yeah, I'm cold and itchy. Uh, I did see an inner tube that was um, uh, punctured and abandoned along the way, so that's reassuring. Um, I did see an otter. That was pretty cool. Uh, solid reddish-brown. Came running down the um, a hill 
to the riverbank, didn't seem to care that I was right there and ran along the side of the riverbank, then disappeared up and under the vegetation. So that's cool. That's, um, if that is an otter, that's the first one um, I've seen. It's kind of the size of a small cat. Um, so very cool. Um, but I'm, I'm about ready to be done. They're still alive. Okay, I made it. I'm at the Rondo Road uh, boat launching access place. And in all honesty, that last 30 minutes to an hour, I was getting kind of scared because I thought that maybe I'd missed my, my exit and I'd be another six hours or so on the river to get to Indian River. Because um, I thought this was the next bridge, but there was a bridge before it, but it was just for cars. This is a foot bridge on the... Um, the trail that goes all over uh, northern Michigan. So here I am. Um, so saw some cool wildlife. Saw one otter, one beaver, um, some kind of a aquatic bird. It looks like a duck, but a pointy beak and a hairstyle like a, a rock star with about 20 babies hopped in the water right next to me. So that was pretty cool. Um, so all in all, it was fun. I recommend it. Thanks for joining me.